Well, I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad. Well, hey everyone, this is Jay Withrow, and man, I'm excited today because I get to show you how to instantly transform any song into R&B. And I mean, it might even have like that super country twang. You're like, how in the world is this ever gonna be R&B? And then we're gonna make it smooth. All right? And I think you're gonna be amazed at how quickly you can transform any song in R&B. There are just 10 transformations. And you might say, Jairus, 10 sounds like a lot. Well, if you know them, man, you just do them instantly. Like one second, it's one style. The next second, it's the other. And once you know them, it gets pretty easy to apply them, okay? So let me share some really important information about what you're about to hear, okay, so that you actually understand it. So I've got this weird, <laughs> quirky country song, kind of comedic, called Miss Mary Ann. And I'm just going to play the first verse of it. I'm going to keep looping it. And I'm gonna apply a transformation one at a time, back to back, every four bars. So the first four bars, you're gonna hear one transformation, then we're gonna stack the, the next transformation, so on and so forth, until you hear all 10. And then you're gonna have a really good handle on how to do it. And then after you've actually heard me do it all, I'm gonna break it down for you on, on some of the more nuanced transformations that maybe require a little more understanding maybe of number system or major seven chords or different things like that if you're not familiar. So I'll break it down, all right? Well, let's get to it. Well, I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad. It's about to drop me back. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. Well, I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad. It's about to drive me mad. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad I've been missing you so bad Miss Mary Ann I've been missing you so bad It's about to drive me mad I've been missing you so bad Miss Mary Ann I've been missing you so bad I've been missing you so bad I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad, it's about to drive me mad. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad, I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad, it's about to drop me back. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad, I've been missing you so bad. I've been missing you so bad. Mary Ann, yes. I've been missing you so bad, it's about to drop me mad. I've been missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. Well, I've been missing you so bad, I've been missing you so bad, I've been missing. You so bad, Mary Ann. I've been missing you so bad. It's about to drive me mad. I've been missing you so bad, Mary Ann. Ooh, So there it is, that's the 10 transformations that you can do, man. And once you get them down, you can just apply them instantly. So now what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna break down some of the more nuanced steps, okay? I'm gonna start with step number five, all right? Which is the, will require the most explaining. So if you wanna skip ahead to some of the other transformation steps, you can just use the time markers. But um, make sure that if you're listening to, to this part of it that you know number system. You wanna know number system, be familiar with it. If you're not, okay, then I'm gonna be creating a video for that all about number system and just check out you know the link in the description or that I pop up on the screen, whatever. And then you can watch that once I get it ready. But if you're already familiar with it, let's go and dive into transformation number five. This is where everything really gets taken into R&B land is once we change the chord shapes. So in number system, we have seven chords, right? And you're, you know, you're just following the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one, okay. And normally, if you're just doing it plain Jane, it's just G major, A minor, B minor, you know, we're in key of G, C, D, E, and then we could do D over F sharp as our seven chord at five over seven, then back to one. Okay, that's it. Plain Jane, key of G. There it is. To make it R&B though, we've gotta put sevens on everything, okay? It's all about the sevens. So let me talk you through it real fast and I'll just let you hear it, okay? The one chord is a major seven, G major seven. The two chord is a minor seven now. Three chord, also minor seven. Four chord, major seven, just like the one. Now when we get to the five chord, which is D, we're gonna make a dominant seven, just D seven, as it's called, right? Or we're, we're adding the flat seven in there. The six is a minor seven. We make the six chord, which is E minor seven. And then we don't have the five over seven chord like we normally would. Or you could do a diminished, a true diminished chord. And then back to the one. Make it a major seven. So let's review that. One and four chords are major sevens. Two, three, and six are minor sevens. The five chord is a dominant seven, or just seven if you were to write it. And then the seven chord, you could do as a diminished chord, but we don't have that in this song, okay? So that's how I break it down. You can do that, apply that to any key, and it's gonna turn those chords into R&B sounding jazz chords, okay? That's how you do it. So the next few transformations, including this one, which is transformation number seven, okay? But the next few, you wanna do these to taste, as I say. That just means that like, you don't wanna just simply blanket apply this to every chord, like you're gonna change the four chord into a minor four every single time it occurs. You really don't wanna do that because uh, this is one of those things that is like, it's like a spice, like too much spice in your food, right? It, it, it overpowers the other flavors, right? You gotta get the balance right. And it's the same with this. So, you know, do it to taste, do it to where, oh, it's like, yeah, it needs to be there. Um, you know, and you might only do it one time in the song, at the very end of the song, and that'd be okay. So we're just changing our four chord, right? In this case, in the key of G, it's C major seven when we're doing it R&B style. And then we're just gonna make it a straight C minor, right? So just going from C major seven to C minor, okay? And you could do that, just, you know, complete substitution to where you do get to the chord. It's just straight to the minor four chord. You can also do it to where you do it partly. You start out you start out major and then you change it to minor and you let the listener hear the change, which can be really nice. I really love to do that at the very end of songs uh, where it's like right, and then you end it like that. I think that's a great way to apply it. All right, transformation number eight. This is the diminished chord walk up to our minor six chord, okay? So let's talk about this. The minor six in the key of G is E minor, and we're doing it as an E minor seven chord. So all you have to do to get this cool little walk up sound is to go down a half step down from your six chord, so in this case, E flat, and then just make it a diminished chord. In this case, my fingering is first finger on six, right, on the A string, middle finger seven on the D, pinky eight on the G, third finger seven on the B. I'm just doing those four inside strings there, A, D, G, B, and then boom, 
So you just, instead of going straight to the sixth chord, walk up into it with that. And man, oh, it gives such a nice feeling, flavor to the music, so to speak. Transformation number nine is to replace the one chord every now and then for the three chord. They pretty much, like when, when you're using, uh, you know, in this case, the, the major seven for the one chord, G major seven, our three chord uses all the same notes except for like the, the bass note, right? The bass note just changes or what it's all based off of. So they have a very similar tone and sound, so it, it works well as a replacement chord. So every now and then you could try out in your song, you know, when, it, when it's supposed to go back to the one like that, like I go one and then four, one. Well, instead try going to the three when you, instead of going back to the one. Okay, and then you can go to all sorts of places with that. It can really help you to hear, oh, is there some other chord change I can go to after that that works well. But I think that's a, a, a really great one to experiment with because it, it it uses the same the same notes so much that it just man you can just pop it right in there and it's going to really make it feel r&b so the last transformation is just adding in a minor 2 chord whenever you're going to transition to the 5 chord so for instance let's say that the 5 chord normally took up one full measure right four beats well, what you could do to transform it is to maybe the first two beats are the minor two chord and then the last two beats are the five chord. So, and that happens at the end of the example song. So, uh, I've about to drive me mad. I've been, now we could just go straight to the five like the original song. Missing you so bad, Miss Mary Ann. But it really is going to take it to that jazzy R&B place if we go, about to drive me mad. I've been minor two chord. Missing you so bad, Mary Ann. It just works way better when we're thinking about R&B. So again, do it to taste. You know, experiment with it in whatever song you're converting, and see if that uh, minor two chord. And as you do it more and more often, you're actually just going to be able to hear it in real time. You're going to be able to anticipate. Oh, it is going to sound good already, and you can do it without even having to practice it. And that's the cool thing about getting these ten transformations down. Well, y'all have fun transforming all your songs into R&B. And thank you so much again for the support. Please like and subscribe. And then I'll see you at the next lesson. Adios.